Can we talk about how cute these two are? I mean, like, come on. Look at them. Look at these cutie patoots. Good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. I am upstairs because I actually have a desk up here now, and I work up here most days if I am not doing other stuff, like filming and whatnot. I'm out of breath because I just came up the stairs, and I am uh, grossly out of shape, so bear with me, but I feel like I haven't vlogged with you guys for a while because of the Go Wild vlog was kind of out of cycle and then I took a little bit of a break, but we are back and I have so many things to show you from the new box and we'll see what trouble we get up to together. All right, so <laughs> I don't know why that was like Linda from Bob's Burgers. All right, I am setting up to film my monthly plan with me for June. Is it just me or does this top bar look like a different color from this top bar? Regardless, I am using these green colored functional sheets and then I have a couple of other sheets here. This is a little spoiler. You guys are the first to see this. It's Blobby with the cats. The crossover you didn't know you wanted but now you love and need. So this sheet will be coming out in June but I definitely wanna use it in my spread because June is my birthday month. So I'm very excited to get started on this. And then I'm gonna go through here and pull out stickers that I use on a monthly basis. I usually just pull out this huge chunk in the second pocket because that is where all of the stickers that I use for my Plan With Me's are and then it goes on from there. So I'm gonna pull out all my stickers and get started. Plan With Me went well and then I also did a video about the swag bag, but spoilers, spoilers. So let's show you guys what is coming in the next Oh, hello box. So this is everything that's in so far. A lot of stuff is coming today and tomorrow, but you know, let's just throw all the spoilers into one. So this is a travel themed box. So first there is this like super sleek, thin fanny pack in the most amazing color ever. So it's great for runners, but it's also, if you are traveling, it's so like low profile, you can tuck it under your clothes and keep all your stuff safe. It says living my best life because people who wear hot pink fanny packs are in fact living their best life. So then, of course, there are some stationary products. Here are two little to-do notepads with a cute little airplane. Then the sticker sheet is all about travel. This just came in yesterday and I'm downright obsessed with it. This is a packing list sheet. You guys love my packing list, but this is so you can customize your own. And you can also like laminate it and use it as like a dashboard or something. So I think that's super cute. And the blue matches the like sky blues and stuff and then you've seen this I think a couple of times already but this is like a travel pouch that has three different compartments so you can separate like your jewelry your liquids that sort of thing so it like, can get really really full and I love having the two compartments just make or the three compartments it just makes everything easy to pack and it says oh hello on it so it doesn't have any like crazy sayings if you want to give this to a guy in your life who needs a little bit more organization or something like that but this is barely scratching the surface of this box there are a ton of things still to come but i thought i'd just show you everything so this is a little something i've been doing for myself i just took one of our sticker organizers and i've been putting one postcard from each of the boxes just as a little memento for me about like where we started from the different items and it's just already so exciting we've done five boxes and i just love it i just think it's so cool to see the progression and i can't wait to fill it in more well, yeah just thought i'd show you it's a sad day but i think it's time that i switch my cover it has to be done i have to come home from vegas guys what am i even doing i dug this petite planner daily thing out of the D stash bin for the meetup because I've been seeing so many people post about it and I don't I don't even know what I'm doing like I don't even need this but here I am putting some times down trying to figure out my schedule <sighs> I've also purchased every single layout for the binder that's not cheap I don't know what I'm doing I just think maybe the binder is a different answer to my my woes. So we shall see. We shall see what happens when the uh, hourly layout arrives because that's the last one I'm waiting on. At a momentary lapse in judgment, I'm putting them back. Somebody else can use them. Ugh. Ugh. 
I'll fix it. Somebody else will get a better use out of them who actually needs it. I don't need to add that stress to my life or that variety. Also, don't I look amazing today? This is what a day at home looks like. Rough. Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce to you, for the first time on the vlog, the swag closet. So this is for Alex and his promotional business so he can grab products to give to clients. So these are all extra things from the Oh Hello box that Alex purchased through Oh Hello Promo. So like when I purchased the stuff for the box, he added like an extra 50 or 100 of things and tacked them on so he can give them out to people as promo gifts. So he just basically grabs a bag, fills it in, he has catalogs, and then I have a couple extra bins up there for other future stuff. But I think it looks so good and it's made his life super simple so he can just run in here, grab stuff, and head to his meetings. There's also a little paper over here if he wants to do a box. I think I'm gonna add some boxes, oh hello boxes down there so he can fill a box if he wants to do that style instead. But I think it's super cute. And if you watched my June uh, monthly plan with me, my last video that went up, there's a little sneak peek of a box bid sale. This closet is another uh, teaser for that. I haven't fully said what it was, but I'm sure you guys can guess from those two hints what's going on. Also, I have my llamas here in the background of any sit down videos. This guy, his name is Bruce. And over here, that's Stuart, cause he's little. I also really like working up in the office because I can uh, stalk when FedEx trucks are arriving and I'm pretty sure that is some new items for next month's Oh Hello box. So I'm just gonna creepily stand here and wait. And that sound you're hearing is the neighbor across the street is getting their carpets cleaned. He's carrying an Aaron Condren box. Look! So I just spent some time setting up the binder. I'm not sure if I'm even gonna use it. I have been thinking about doing like a monthly calendar like the deluxe monthly that I do for myself, but then also doing one for work, for like social media posts and stuff. So I might end up putting two monthly calendars together. Who knows, I will keep you posted. But the way I set this up is I'm thinking maybe I'll use this for my to-do list book because although I love the horizontal and it's like small and portable, and maybe I use this just for travel or something, I need more space. <laughs> there is a lot going on. Um, behind the scenes and I just need more space for to-do lists and things. So what I did was I took the vertical colorful tabs and quotes and combined them with the horizontal neutral month and weeks. So there's colorful and then it goes into horizontal um, neutral, which I like the horizontal to write to-do lists in two different columns because it limits the amount of space and I just think better that way than the vertical. So I still have the vertical layout. And then, like I said, the hourly is coming as well because maybe I can turn that into a to-do list or maybe I'd want hourly one month just to try it out if I have a lot of meetings. So I'm loving the binder because it's a whole lot easier to switch stuff. Like with the, the coil, you have to uncoil it in order to like Franken planner. So this was a whole lot easier just to add in the colorful quotes pages but then the neutral monthly because I hate 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 the way that the vertical monthly looks like that colored bar in the side I'm just not a fan so I really like the neutral monthly view but of course I want some kaleidoscope in my life right so I got on a serious sticker designing kick once I put this binder together, I just had a bunch of really good ideas. So these are gonna be available for the June release. So there is a larger monthly habit tracker. I just re like updated the one we used to have and it comes with these little labels. So you could switch this around because I hated this page. Like I hated that it said birthdays. It just didn't seem like it would be something I would use. So now I can write like accomplishments. There's three other headers. I think one says memories, one says this month, and the other says monthly mantra. So you have 
six options for the three slots each month. And then I went a little nutso printing these tiny little labels of all of the social media and stuff that I do for Oh Hello Living and Oh Hello Stationery. I have some awesome assistants who do Oh Hello Promo and are like other sites and like Oh Hello Stationery stuff as well. So I just have the things that I am responsible for and I'm like weirdly obsessed with how clean and amazing this looks. Is that weird? I feel like that's weird, but I just love it. All right guys, so I am getting ready for bed. So this is the end of another weekly vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe because my Oh Hello meetup is Saturday. Oh, that is so exciting. So yeah. Be sure to subscribe so you can see all that footage because I have been in like serious prep mode for that. Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.